Well, in this video, my love goes out to the Ugandan people who have had to put up with many different types of wars, both political and religious, over the past few hundreds of years and decades. But this man of God here, standing up against the Bible perversions, and very, very glad that the Lord sent me there to stand with him, in pointing out the, the grave errors and the deletions within the Word of God, which this brother has been highlighting for the past two years. And although his presence on YouTube isn't that great, Pastor Bajingo uh, broadcasts live to East Africa, you know, to hundreds of millions of people, which he invited me up uh, to the stage to say a few words to his congregation at that time. Uh, two or three thousand people meet every day to worship and sing praises to God at the moment. The other pastors, um, whom he's been standing against using the false Bible translations are taking him to court and his congregation are very much encouraging him and uh, praying for him. So please pray for Pastor Bajingo as he stands for this righteous cause. I am very much reminded of the hymn, it's with the high praises of God in our mouths and a double-edged sword in our hands. We walk right on to the victory side right into Canaan's land and it's uh, that land near Kampala that this ministry settled in the house of prayer and uh, they praise the name of Yeshu every day which I've taught the name of Yeshua so uh, a few people got deliverances from that teaching hallelujah but uh, let's just stand with this church uh, for this uh, cause of the word of God and uh, let's burn all these uh, swords which uh, are not producing the correct fruit and that are not basically um, teaching the, the correct word of God. They're, in other words, they're just blunt swords, they're false swords. Hallelujah. Now let's see how these men and women of God really stand for the Bible, the King James Bible. They also use the New King James Bible. But let's see how they do it. Com and compare that to your local church. So welcoming him back from court today. His name, uh, the pastor at the church. Yeah, he's fighting against those Bibles. Thank you. 
for the Bible. It's the King James Bible. Yeah. The King James Bible. Hallelujah. This is the book. The Royal Bible. Hallelujah. Flyers that I produce um, connected with like uh, some of the first flyers I've produced in Africa. So when I was a missionary in Africa, I put these together to help people understand what I was going on about. And part of this was showing people about the King James Bible being um, the best translation in English we have from the correct manuscripts. As we see, the term omitted is used when either the phrase or the verse in question is deleted. Um, so this is just a small sampling. Some have objected to me comparing the New World Translation and the New International Version and the New American Standard Bible. They complain that the New World Translation is obvious corruption of Scripture on the part of the Jehovah Witness cult, instead of complaining, complaining about the comparison, they should be wondering why the NIV, NASB so frequently agree with the NWT and why key doctrines are being changed before our eyes. So this is the most important thing. What type of sin are you? Oh, you sing on our chief. What about what There are some people that are in the world. Once they enter somewhere, they want to get you Even if you're just looking for a wedding, after taking a sword, a sword to the two. 
When all the books that he or she has in the house stolen from the certain ceremony. The Bible says that after the thief stealing will also be stolen. Some of us we have never seen what is called a thief in our houses. We don't know what is called theft. But for you daily, it's you who will be still. You try to figure out in yourself. Maybe you too, you are a thief. Or you are someone who saw the right seed. People will celebrate you. People will pray for you. People will keep down their knees to pray for you. Because he chose to be. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible is very clear. You reap what you sow. It will always come back to you. It will come back to your boss. It will come back shaken together. It will come back running off. It will come back more times than you saw. It will come back to your mat prior event. The question is, what did you sow? If you saw hatred, it will surely come back to you. In our daily life, we saw in our small choices, in our small choices, and our decisions they accumulate over time and then we reap them over time this is my request you decide to be a different person from today who will to sow the white seeds? Who 